Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is what we got going on for March 30th, 2021. Let's get it, Virgo. Strength card in reverse. The Five of Cups. The Nine of Swords in reverse. You guys could have been dealing with the Pisces. A Leo. A Heavy on the Aries. A Cancer. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let's get it. Coming in with the strength card in reverse, the high priestess to the to the uh, ten of swords here at Virgos. <sighs> Virgos, you guys need to remember who the hell it is that you guys are coming with the high priestess. You guys need to make sure that you're confident, you're highly intuitive. Um, stand in your power, Virgos, because you guys are all knowing. You guys are light workers, um, galactics. You guys know a lot more than what anybody would ever. Star seeds is what I just heard. Okay, you guys are a little cute. Sometimes you guys don't even feel like this is your home, Virgos. You guys just want to go back to your home, literally, okay, is what I'm seeing right now. <sighs> okay? Virgos, the person that you guys was dealing with in the past here, um, it's saying that you guys were really, really confident. You guys, your self-esteem was really, really high, Virgos. But this person, it's like this person took away your your power. They took away your strength. They, they made you weak again, Virgos, especially with the Ten of Swords energy. This person broke you down really, really badly, Virgos, coming in with the Ten of Swords. This person backstabbed you so bad, so, so bad. You would never have known that this person would have done this to you, Virgos. You would never know that this is the one that would have had that sword getting ready to stab you in the back. And I think that's what hurt you guys the most because you guys weren't expecting this person to hurt you in that way. But they did. Ten of Swords. With the Strength card there, pardon me, in reverse to the Five of Cups, Virgos. This person probably stopped putting work in the relationship between the two of you guys. You had a lot of love for this person, Virgos. And you guys were really, really sad about it too. You guys might be feeling sad about it right up until now, my loves. This might have happened five days ago, uh, nine months ago, nine years ago, Virgos, for some of you guys. Six weeks ago, eight months ago, ten months ago, ten weeks ago. Seven days ago for some of you guys, four months as well. All right, cuties. So maybe this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Pisces, whoever Virgo this energy belongs to, they've stopped putting work in the relationship. I really feel like Virgos coming with the Knight of Pentacles to the Five of Cups. This person was very careless with the, with your emotions. They were very careless with the way that you feel. Nine of Swords in Reverse. This person definitely cheated on you with another woman here, Virgos, or another man for that matter. They left you to go be with a karmic here, okay? That's what they did. They left you to go be with a karmic here, Virgos, coming in with the Queen of Wands in reverse. And it's not like they are the best person. They come in as a Queen of Wands in reverse. So this is what they did. They cheated on you with somebody who is, yeah. And you guys, like, know about it. You guys have already known about it. That's why you guys were in the Nine of Swords in reverse. It caused you a lot of sleepless nights here, Virgos. But luckily, it's coming. You guys are finally coming out of it, okay? With the, here, Hangman. You guys are not wanting to move, Virgos. You guys don't want to do anything, especially if this person tries to come back towards you guys. You guys are going to be cleaving on to your, to your pentacles like, no, these are my pentacles now. I have to take the time to take care of myself. So even though you feel this, you love this person very much, Virgos, you guys kind of feel stuck, especially if this person is going to be returning back for you guys with the three of swords. This person, I mean, when I say this person broke your heart, Virgos, they, they really broke your heart. I mean, it was severely broken. It wasn't just like, oh, they cheated on me and I fucking got up and left and called it a day. No, you guys was crying for like nine months here, Virgos. Ten months, you guys was bawling your eyes out. Three months, you guys were crying. <sighs> you, guys have been, you guys have been, pardon me, you guys have been crying for quite some time regarding this relationship here with this person, sweeties, okay? You guys were really heartbroken really hurt by by this person's actions they were so careless with your emotions as well <clears throat> they didn't take your emotions into consideration this person was literally thinking only about themselves and that is so selfish of them especially with the hangman virgos it was really really selfish all right with the seven of cups so they are going to be determined to come back towards you especially with the full card there virgos all right, to the hermit card. So you guys could have been dealing with another Virgo as well. This person is like trying to reflect like, damn, I just need to get back to Virgo, Summon Rising of Venus. I don't really want to be with this Queen of Wands energy anymore. So he's, they're trying to, he or she is trying to get out of that relationship with the karmic Virgos. However, this person is trying to reflect. They're like up in the mountains somewhere. Maybe this person goes on hikes or whatever the case is, or you guys go on hikes for that matter. And you guys are spending time in the trees and stuff like that. And you guys are trying to figure out like, damn, how am I supposed to get back to Virgos? I want to take a leap back to faith. I want to take a leap 
back to them because that's my soulmate. That's where I was the most happy, happiest. Two of Cups. You guys were really playful with each other. Virgos are ready to come in and offer you up. They're sorry. They want to tell you that they're sorry because you are the Ten of Cups. You are everything that they've ever wished for and they still didn't appreciate you. So this person was definitely in their ego, Virgos. They wasn't really treating you all that great. They were careless with your feelings. It's like this person took away your power. You see, that's why it's dangerous, Virgos, to give to put all your seeds in one basket like that. Because you guys are very loving and sweet, you guys, especially if you guys are Pisces here, Virgos, you guys love very, very easily. You guys love so fast. You guys fall in love so easily, Virgos. And that's why pain ends up hurting you a lot more. You guys could have even Pisces in your chart. Like a Pisces rising or a Pisces moon. Yeah. Regardless, though, Virgo's coming with the Four of Cups. This person is like, you guys are going to be like, you know what? I understand. I thank you for your apology. I appreciate that you're coming out of, out of, I, I appreciate that you're coming after all this time to apologize, to apologize to me. And I know I can be your Ten of Cups. And I know I'm your soulmate and everything like that. But I'm still really, really sad with the way that you treated me. Thinking that you can just play me like that, get up and leave me. Thinking that wherever the hell you ended up, it was going to be beneficial for them. They left you really sad here, Virgo. It's a lot of emotion. It's a lot of emotion, a lot of tears. Tears after tears after tears. This person doesn't even realize that there were so many nights that you went to sleep crying. They would have no idea that you guys went to sleep crying. And you guys are not going to tell this person that you went to sleep crying, Virgos. You would never do that. But I do see that they took away your power coming in with the strength card to the high priestess. Angels want you guys to st stand back up in your power, Virgos. They want you to be okay. Because after the heartbreak comes sunshine. A lot of happiness is going to be coming towards you, Virgos. A lot of the sadness is going to go away. It's going to be washed away. It will be washed away, Virgos. So please know that. Especially with the three of swords of the sun card. And there's light at the end of the tunnel. So it, three of swords of the sun. What is that? It's a lesson, okay? It's a lesson, Virgos. Not just for this relationship, but every relationship that you're going to be getting from now and in the future. What lesson did you learn from that relationship? What lesson did you learn from it? Did you learn that you're not supposed to put all your emotions in one basket? Did you learn that you're not supposed to give all your love out in one shot? Or did you learn that you're not supposed to give yourself so freely to people or just so easily to people? Right, Virgos? Three of Swords, Sun card. At the end of the day, you are going to be happy again. Just give yourself some time, sweeties. Heal. Healing takes time. It's never easy to heal. And if that's how you guys are feeling right now, give yourselves about three weeks to three months, Virgos, to heal. You guys are going to be spanking new. I promise you, Virgos. Just give yourself some time, okay? There is going to be a confession coming in with the Six of Swords energy here. But especially with the Six of Swords to the Hangman here, Virgos, you guys may not want to move into the relationship with this person when this person comes back and apologizes to you with the six, with the Page of Cups energy there, pardon me. But there is going to be a proposal of some sort, a proposal of love, expressing themselves to you, confession, trying to confess to you what had happened and why it had happened the way that it did. This person's really embarrassed coming in with the Seven of Wands energy in reverse. They might be even having a little bit of um, anxiety as well, Virgos. <sighs> Sorry, King of Swords energy there. This is the type of person, Virgo, that they get. They're they're okay, so they're angry with themselves, okay, Virgo, because they they don't know how they're they're angry with themselves because they're embarrassed within themselves on the action that they ended up taking regarding you, how they chose something that they should never have chose. So they're embarrassed within themselves. They literally deceive themselves, Virgo. So that's why they want to come in and start talking to you and, and confessing the way that they feel for you. But the thing is, though, all right. You guys are the Nine of Pentacles. You guys are stable, independent. You guys may actually say, you know what? I love the fact that I love I love the fact that you're apologizing to me and I genuinely appreciate it. But at the same time, I think I just want to be single. Nine of Pentacles. You guys have created so much while you guys were in separation with this person, Virgos, alright? But this just know that this person has um, their secret is, is that they want to come back towards you, okay? They're, they're, the secret is that they change themselves. So while you guys were in this separation with this person, you guys was changing to get yourselves to the Nine of Pentacles, to get to the independency, take care of yourselves, Virgos, all right? Maybe some of you guys weren't even working when you guys met this person back when, you know what I mean? So you guys had some growing to do, 
as long as well as this person has some growing to do too, Virgos. Okay, so now you guys, this person's coming in as the emperor. They're going to be taking charge. They're going to want to protect you and everything like that. Queen of Pentacles here, Virgos. You guys are independent, generous, sweet, loving, kind, so intelligent. You guys get, <laughs> you guys get scared very easily here, Virgos. But the thing is, you guys are focusing on yourselves, focusing on yourself, focusing on your heart. Like you're not, you're gonna be like, do I want to give my heart back to this person? Do I want to? Is that what I want to do with the Queen of Pentacles here? Because look at the way you're looking at your Pentacle. Look at the way you're looking at your Pentacle. Like you're like, damn. This is how big my heart is. Does this person appreciate my heart? This person's coming in, Virgos. It's chariot card, Cancer energy. Do expect that this person's going to be coming in fast towards you. So the secret is, is that they are coming back for you. Virgos coming in with the moon card. This person has a, a moon rising, Virgos. This is going to be during happening during the full moon energy. It's happening um, 28, 29, 30. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. The moon's so beautiful. Eight of Pentacles. All right, Virgo. So this person's going to be... All right, Virgo. So this person's going to be putting out a lot of work. A lot of you guys are going to be just focusing on yourselves, especially with the Eight of Pentacles or the Queen of Pentacles there, Virgos. You guys are good at what you do. And you guys want to just... You guys focus too much on work, Virgos. But that's because you guys don't want to feel the pain. You guys numb your feelings through work. Eight of Pentacles, all right? Because this person left you and abandoned you coming with the Five of Pentacles. But do understand, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, they are going to start communicating with you. This person's at a distance here from you, Virgos. Uh, give it some time, okay? Cutie Pies coming in with the Magician card. You guys are really good at what you do, Virgos. You guys are able to manifest anything. So make sure that you guys continue to stay at a very high vibration and do your affirmations and, and po like positive affirmations um sweethearts okay what is that ten of pentacles this person wants to come back for but they're manifesting you back in they want to get their foundation back with you they want to get a stable home with you even purchase a home they want to have children with you maybe even buy a pet a dog with you here as well this person wants to get married here Virgo. this person's actually going to communicate to you that they actually want to get married with the four of wands energy six of pentacles they're going to come in they're going to offer you a lot of gifts here virgos but you guys are going to be standing in your power coming in with the queen of swords energy you guys are going to be like uh, the star card you guys are going to be like well what is it that you want aquarius energy <laughs> and then they're going to be like well i'm hoping that you and me can build a relationship and maybe even get married the will card all right, so do understand that a good a lot of fortune is going to be coming towards you here, Virgos, Ace of Cups, uh, genuine offers coming for you. This is a this sorry, this is going to be a divine connection, Virgos, that is literally sent from the angels of the heavens above. You deserve this, and you deserve to be loved, Virgos. This person made an impossible decision and did not give too much about your feelings back when, but it looks like they're going to do whatever they have to do to invest into you and the relationship coming in with the Seven of Pentacles, which could bring in a lot of success to the both of you guys. All right. Knight of Cups is going to be a pure and genuine offer. King of Cups right away. So this person's going to go from a knight to a king. So when this, when you guys meet up with each other, Virgos, what's going to happen is you guys are going to meet up in a parking lot somewhere, okay? And you're going to be in your car still. And then this person's going to jump out of their whip real quick. And then while you're still in your car, they're going to come open up the door for you, literally, okay? That's what's going to end up happening, Virgos, because you guys are going to be reconciling with this person. This person has to show you that they have changed. They, they're they ready to show you their emotions. They're ready to show you the love that they actually have. Um, and it's definitely going to be a happy hap happiness for the two of you guys, Virgos, because you guys love this person very much. Don't say that you didn't, because I can see it there that this person really made you so sad, Virgos. You do love this person a whole lot. You still love them, even though they hurt you. You still genuinely love them, but you guys might actually be thinking only about yourselves now because you don't want to be hurt two times in a row. Coming in with the King of Wands energy, this person's very passionate about you, okay? Still again, this person hasn't let you go, Virgos. They're still holding tight onto you because they know that you're the Queen of Cups. So, so, wow. So, so loving, compassionate. You guys... You guys gave your heart and your emotions so easily to this person, Virgos. You guys, like, literally love this person right away when you had met them, okay? A lot of you guys have really cute, fair skin, long, 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 just like this one, okay? Long black hair all the way to your bum here, Virgos. You guys are really, really beautiful girlies. And for the men, you guys are very handsome, uh, like olive skin, Virgos, like light hazel, green eyes, <clears throat> full lips, 
male or female you guys are just so cute virgos i know virgos men and female are just so so cute the devil card all right, so this person may have had a lot of toxicity, but I think they're going to end up becoming a little bit obsessed with, they're going to be obsessed with communicating with you. This is what they want. They want to have a conversation with, your, with, with you guys here, Virgos, coming with the Ace of Swords, pardon me, <clears throat> and they definitely want to bounce with the scales. <laughs> if you guys end up choosing yourselves, Virgos, it's going to be literally karma for them because it's like what goes around comes around. You know what I mean? You can't do me one and then think I'm a, you know, what is that saying? How does that saying go, Virgos? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, <laughs> shame on you, <laughs> or something. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Because you got to learn your lesson, you know what I mean? Don't let people come in and hurt you two times in a row. That's why earlier I was saying, what did you learn from the situation? Did you learn the lesson that was supposed to be taught from it? Eight of Swords. You guys might still be stuck in your head when this person returns back towards you. Virgos, I got 2-2. Two, two. Oh my God, what does 2-2 two, two mean? <laughs> Do you guys know? <laughs> I'm not a numerology person, Virgos, to be honest with you guys. All right, Eight of Swords, Virgos. You guys might be stuck in your head a little bit, overthinking the situation, trying to figure out, like, damn, what do you do? What do you want to do? Look, you guys are coming in as the Empress. What is the Empress or the Emperor going to do? This person that was so player-like, who cheated on you, lied to you, Virgos, left you in the cold, abandoned you, took your power, took your strength, didn't appreciate you, was careless with your emotions and the way that you're in your feelings, and left you, abandoned you to go be with somebody else. You guys are going to be stuck in your head. You guys are coming in as the Empress. You guys are incredibly powerful, Virgos, at a very, very high vibration. And you're going to let somebody like who's underneath you come and mess with your head and mess with your energy like that, Virgos. Get back up, Virgos. Shake it off. Remember who you are. Shower it off. And tell yourself, I am the Empress. I am the Emperor. I am capable of love. I am unconditional love. I am sweet. I have earned love. You are not trapped in your head, Virgos. This does not cause you anxiety. This does not cause you to feel trapped. You are going to know right away what it is you're going to want to do when this person returns back to you. You know your self-worth. You are the empress or you are the emperor. Remember who you guys are, Virgos. Don't let inadequate people make you guys feel inadequate. Don't let anybody make you question your self-worth, Virgos. Never allow that to happen, nine of wands, because you guys feel like you have been through a lot. Now you guys are defensive, Virgos. You know what I mean? You guys may end up getting a new offer coming towards you at the exact same time. So two of pentacles to the page of wands. A new person may end up reaching out to you guys, Virgos, because they see that you're self-worth. And you guys are going to be filled with lots of burden. Ten of wands. Eight of cups. The lover's card. Okay. Gemini energy there, Virgos. All right. So you guys may end up leaving it all behind and walking towards something brand new here. Saying, you know what, I don't want to be with somebody who's going to cheat on me. I want to be with somebody who's going to appreciate me from the beginning and not take my love as a joke. Lover's card. Everything's going to be okay here, Virgos, okay? I feel like this person here in the past, Virgos, as well, they were a little bit immature with the way that they love. Um, maybe this person here, Virgos, coming with the lover's card to the page of wands energy. Um, they were more looking at it like a sexual base connection or whatever the case is. And this person didn't even, like, really say a whole lot to you, Virgos. They literally just got up and left. They didn't even, you know what I mean? But regardless, though, wow. You guys are going to have a new beginning. There could be a new beginning coming towards you here, Virgo. Something very beautiful is going to be coming towards you guys, coming in with the Five of Swords energy. This person here, Virgos, be careful if you guys are going to meet somebody new, that this person is not going to also manipulate you and take you as a joke here as well and steal from you at the same time. Don't let nobody gas you, Virgos, and manipulate you and cheat on you, Virgos. Know, know right away what's up, you know what I mean? Because you guys might have a very passionate connection right away with this person, okay? If you guys go with this new person, Virgos, there might not be able to be no wedding that comes out of it. There may not be no wedding, but at the end of the day, you guys are going to have to sit and, and reflect and try and find wisdom and uh, and uh, try and figure out what it is that you're going to want to do. Death card. Death card to the Seven of Swords. Virgos, you're going to put an end to it, okay? 
Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, Scorpio energy, Nine of Wands. Do expect the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the Scorpio to come back towards you here, Virgos. This person's very um, uh, passionate about you. Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Look at that. They're going to be offering it to you, okay? And when they offer you a message here or a gift or whatever, it's going to shock your whole entire world. The tower. It's going to shock everything for you, Virgos. You're going to be like, what the hell? Like, where the hell did the what? Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> That's exactly what you guys are going to be feeling like. Where the hell did you come from? You've, you've been gone for how long? And you come up and you just pop up out of nowhere. It's a tower moment. It's going to shock the crap out of you. Whereas what you guys wasn't expecting this person just reappear. The way that they reappeared, Virgos. And you guys might be actually really happy about it when this person comes back. Coming in with the Nine of Cups. Tempest card. You guys have been patiently waiting for this person to come back. Virgos, a world card. This person's at a distance. They have to come towards you. Coming with the Hierophant. This person's ready to give you some sort of commitment and offer Virgos. They're ready to put they're ready to put energy into the work, into the relationship, and to work, make teamwork here, Virgos, and, and, and make it be reciprocal between you and they energy, right? Six of Cups. This person missed you so much. This is somebody from your past here, Virgos. This person missed you so much, Virgos. They have a lot of love for you. They have so much emotion here for you as well. <sighs> You guys have been resting a lot, Virgo. It's coming with the Four of Swords energy. Some of you guys may be sleeping a whole lot, too. Uh, make sure you snap out of that and don't sleep so much, Virgos, okay? Don't do that. Get up. Go for a walk. Get some fresh air. Change the energy up a little bit. Take care of yourselves, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, Page of Swords, this person is so curious on you, Virgos. Oh, they're trying to see. They're like, oh, shit. Does Virgo Summon Rising have competition? Five of Wands. <laughs> I got a spot on my Virgo Summon Rising in Venus to see if they have competition. This is like a, a very curious person to see. If they want to see if you have any if they have any competitors. But it's going to be completely up to you guys, Virgos, on what it is that you guys are going to want to do. It is going to shock the crap out of you when this person returns back for you, Virgos. The, you guys need to make sure. I know it's said easier said than done. But... At the same time, I've been there and I've done that, Virgos. And at the same time, Virgos, never allow anyone to bring you down in this type of way. I can see it for myself in this reading. This person really took your power. They they, they made you feel weak, Virgos. You know what I mean? They backstabbed you. They literally, and you would never have known that this person was going to do something like that. Because they, 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 they really showed you that they actually loved you a whole lot, Virgos. And the one person that you thought that wouldn't stab you in the back, Virgos ended up stabbing you in the back they are on their way back for you thanks cuties bye